GPCC spokesperson Yatish Naik blamed BJP-led alliance government for putting the state in economic mess. Speaking at a press conference, Naik said that all three MPs of the state have failed to bring forth any state issues, especially on mining, coal, river nationalization in the parliament. Now, BJP has put the state in an economic mess. The state is left rudderless, directionless. Chief Minister is not here. They have formed something called as Cabinet Advisory Committee which inspires no sanctity within the constitutional scheme and people are left to suffer because this government is in a state of pure paralysis. Now it may be noted that as far as CAC is concerned our party has made a viewpoint very clear that the CAC is not within the scope envisaged in the constitutional scheme of things. But yesterday, South Goa BGP MP has spoken something. Our constitution of India the Constitution of India does not speak of a cabinet advisory committee and it does not, the scheme doesn't envisage any such const, uh, cabinet advisory committee. So I don't know whether the BJP MP was talking of the RSS constitution or the BJP constitution, we don't know. But the Constitution of India does not envisage something called as cabinet advisory committee and it is unheard of as a substitute in place of chief minister when chief minister is not here. Their own ex-finance minister, Yashwan Sinha, has put out at the BJP and said very clearly that it is a matter of course that if the chief minister is not here, a person should be handed over charge. And now they are, this MP is speaking something which inspires no sanctity at all. Even otherwise, take the issue of coal, take the issue of transportation of coal, coal hub, nationalization of states, rivers, so many issues. Goa's three BJP MPs, Naren Savaikar, Shripad Nai and Rajya Sabha MP Vinay Tendulkar don't speak anything in the parliament. At least we have not heard. On these issues, we have not heard these BJP MPs speaking anything. Rather, maybe the parliament is waiting for them to uh, speak and know how they sound in the parliament. But here they come and address press conferences and that too on such things. 